If you've got a shower bath situation, then a glass screen is just what you need. It'll stop the water splashing everywhere and give your bathroom a much cleaner look. I'll show you how to install a glass bath screen yourself so you can get rid of that mouldy old shower curtain for good. Now there's a number of different bath screens that you can install over your bath. What I'm going to install today is a fixed panel with a swinging door. So the first thing we have to do is attach our aluminium channel to the wall. That's what our fixed panel is going to slot into. So in our particular situation, we've got a lip on the edge of the bath. So our fixed panel is just going to slot on the inside of that. What we need to do is see if we've got any solid fixing in the wall to attach our channel to. To do that, I'm going to use our fantastic stud finder here. The stud finder will also indicate the position of any wires or pipes we need to avoid. It's also a good idea if you can double check under the house for the location of any plumbing that you might need to look out for. So exactly where the arrow is, is the centre of my solid fixing. Now I'll just work down the wall, see what else I can find. Okay, so I just need to transfer my marks onto our channel. Now I located three solid fixings in my wall. If you can't find any in your bathroom, there's a range of different type of wall anchors that you can use. Then drill holes in your aluminium channel to take your fixings. Now I'm just going to pre-drill through the liner and I'm just going parallel with the outside edge. I've already checked that the liner is plumb so I know I'm good to go. Make sure you use the correct drill bit for the surface you're drilling into. If you've got tiles, use a piece of masking tape over the top of the tile to stop the drill bit from slipping. Cool. So all we've got to do now is just give this a wee little dust down, take any shavings off the wall and apply our silicon and then fix in our screws. So I'm just applying a bead of silicon to the back of our channel. Just make sure the type of silicon that you use is appropriate for your lining. Now I've got an acrylic shower lining, so I'm using the right silicon to accommodate that. Secure the aluminium channel to the wall with your fixings. Then spray and wipe away any excess silicon. So I've just rested one side on the inside of the lip of the bath and then the other side is just on the channel. I'm just going to slide that in. Okay, that's sitting in there nice and snug and it's also seated on the bath nice and square as well. So what I've got to do next is pre-drill three holes on the inside to take our pot rivets. And then fit the shower door to the channel using a pot rivet gun. Now as you can see I've got an inward opening shower screen door. Now regardless whether you've got an inward or an outward opening door, the installation method essentially is just the same. So we're just about there, one last thing I have to do is apply a bead of silicon on the outside edge only. And again, spray and wipe excess silicon away using a silicon applicator tool. Okay, that's looking really good. Now all I've got to do is let that to dry for 24 hours before we use the shower. And we're done. The water's staying where it should, the bathroom looks great, and it was easy as. If you want to see more content like this, just subscribe to the Mitre 10 YouTube channel, or click here to watch more.